Hello viewers, welcome to SD ELFT campus online learning platform. Viewers, in this second lecture on phonetics, I am going to discuss the vowel sounds instead. Follow the lecture attentively to have a fair idea of the topic that is one of the most important topics for the students of phonetics. This lecture is designed for the university students who are preparing themselves for their masters, UGC net or JRF examinations. If you find our videos helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the notifications of our coming videos. Dear learners, to come to the point, we have to learn first the definition of vowel. Vowels are produced with a mostly open oral tract. So, the place or manner of articulation is not useful in describing vowels. These are complete opposite of a consonant sound. There are four characteristics of vowel sounds. Listen me carefully students. Firstly, these sounds are always oral. Secondly, they are voice sounds. Thirdly, these sounds are produced by the free flow of air. And finally, the tip of the tongue remains low and some other parts of the tongue experience some slight movements. Students, we can classify these vowel sounds in following manner. Monotongs and diphthongs. Now the question is, what is monotong? Monotong is simply a vowel. The word monotong comes from the old Greek language. Mono means one or single and the photon means sound or tone. The word monotong shows that a vowel is spoken with exactly one tone and one mouth position. For example, when you say tit, then we, while you are creating the sound of the E, nothing changes for that sound. This is a section of the phonemic chart, and here we have the 12 vowels. And I'm going to try and help you remember how to say these sounds with certain actions. Let's look at the first sound. E. E. Me, 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 me.
un. Notice that this chart has three sections. This is the first section, then we have a middle section, and then we have the last section down here. Now, in each section, the mouth changes position. In the top section, the mouth is quite narrow. In the middle section, the mouth has become a little bigger. And in the bottom section, the mouth is quite big and round. Let me demonstrate. Watch my mouth. E, E, A. Again. E, E, A. Also, the sounds are coming from a different part of the mouth. In the first section, the sounds are coming from the front of the mouth. In the middle section, the sounds are coming from the middle of the mouth. And in the third section, the sounds are coming from the back of the mouth. Listen and then try after. E, E, A. Try it with the sounds coming from the different positions. Front, middle, back. Again. E, E, A. Now listen. And again, say it after me. I, a, a. O, a, a. And again. O, a. Again. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Now let's review what we've learned about the vowel sounds. Now I will run through all the sounds again. Pay particular attention to the position of my mouth. Under the sound and its word, you will see the mouth position for the sound. For example, for E, the mouth position is narrow. E. Under that, you will see which part of the mouth the sound comes from. For example, for E, the sound comes from the front of the mouth. E, me. E, ten. A, hat. E, in.
viewers, after analyzing the monotones, now we have to discuss diatoms. A diatom is a vowel that a person has to move his or her mouth into two different positions to make. Diatom comes from the old Greek language. Da means two or double, while the part tom means sound or tone. It is a vowel where two different vowel qualities can be heard. For example, wish, die, noise, wrote, house, fears, beer, show. Each of these is a different vowel sound. Now we're moving on from single vowel sounds to combination vowel sounds. And I'm going to show you how two single vowel sounds combine to make a new sound. I. A. I. A. I. A. Ia. Ia. Now let's look at all the combination vowel sounds. Ia. 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 A. A. Pay. Ua. Ua. Pua. Oi. Oi. Noise. O. O. Nose. Air. Air. Hair. Eye. 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 Ow. 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 Ear. Ear. A. Pay. Ua. Pua. Oi. Noise. O. Nose. Air. Hair. Eye. Eye. Ow. Ow. So friends, we can classify a vowel sound according to the rise of a specific part of tongue, front, central or back. Front vowels are those during the articulation of which the front of the tongue is raised in the direction of the heart palate. It could be remembered, however, that the space between the front of the tongue and the heart palate should be sufficient for the air to escape without any friction. The vowels in words be, beat, bit, bat are some examples of front vowels. Now let us come to back vowels. 
Ag vowels are those during the articulation of which the front of the tongue is raised in the direction of the soft palate. It should be remembered, however, that the space between the front of the tongue and the soft palate should be sufficient for the air to escape without any friction. The vowels in words curt, caught, caught, push, and pull are some examples of back vowels. Central vowels are those during the articulation of which the center of the tongue is raised in the direction of the roof of the mouth, where heart palate and soft palate meet are called central vowels. The vowels in words cup, hurt are some examples of central vowels. According to the height of the tongue, we have the following classifications of vowel sounds. Number one, close vowels. Number two, open vowels. Number three, half close vowels. And obviously number four, half open vowels. Close vowels, dear learners, close vowels are those during the articulation the tongue is very close to the roof of the mouth. The tongue moves towards the roof. It shows how much the tongue goes up according to the articulation of a sound. It also moves down. If it is up, it is known close vowels. If we pronounce E sound, the tongue goes up to close position. So it is called a closed vowel. In the case of open vowels, dear students, vowels, open vowels are those during the articulation the tongue is very far away from the roof of the mouth. Front tongue is raised but it is very far away from the heart palate. It is extreme to the closed position. Some sounds are spoken in that position. They are actually known as open vowels. Just like a. Uh. In the case of half-closed vowel. Dear friends, listen carefully. Vowels, half-closed vowels are those during the articulation the tongue is raised to a point between the close and open positions, but closer to close than to open. The tongue is raised, but does not go up to the close position. It is below close. The vowel E is like this. And finally, half open vowels. These vowels are those during the articulation the tongue is raised to the point between the close and open positions, but closer to open than to close. The tongue is below half close position. The tongue is raised but it does not go very much upward. It is neither open position. The vowel a is like this. Finally, dear learners, as far as the position of the lips, vowels can be defined as being neutral, number two, spread, and finally, number three, round. unrounded vowels. Lips also show movements. While we speak, some sound lips are spread or remain neutral. Vowels in the words see, sit, set, sat are unrounded vowels.
in the case of rounded vowels we have to remember during the articulation of some vowels lips are rounded so they are known as rounded vowels vowels in the words like caught caught put and fool dear learners hope you all find this present lecture helpful please subscribe our channel and ring the notification bell for our coming videos thank you have a good day